dealers have been doing the same thing up until right. the pandemic hit for over 100 years, mm -hmm. literally yep. uh, for that long. And I think they, the, what the pandemic brought, it, it was actually a necessary change. Mm -hmm. um, the innovation that has been around, but the hesitation from dealers um, to step into that, the pandemic, if there's one thing that, that it created was the necessary opportunity for them to move. And some people, two years later, are still somewhat reluctant, but I would say the majority have jumped in. Digital mm -hmm. retailing is a real thing uh -huh. today. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> and I think with inventory levels, as we've all sort of discussed being a thing, it's an opportunity to try mm -hmm. and, and pilot certain things and certain technologies um, and I'm going to go back to what both Russell and Vasilio said which is um, having a strong healthy media mix yes. is extremely important you, you in my opinion you shouldn't funnel all your dollars in one area mm -hmm. and at the end of the day dealers have to recognize that their data is a gold mine and in yeah. order to utilize that data properly, um, that's everybody doesn't do it as well as they probably can. So I think that's the uh, that's the opportunity. No, I agree with that's you. I mean, I think you know, over the last twenty four months, what we've seen is it was a, a definite understanding of uh, data consciousness. You know, I think dealers have just become more aware of uh, what the possibilities are. You know, when they when they take their own data points and, and combine them with you know other data points from things like Amazon, and it's like you know I put one and one of these together and how powerful how powerful that can be. So that's that's a cool rabbit hole. Let's go. Let's actually go down a little bit of this of this with the with data and how you know I, I think over the next ten years you know that's going to be the, the bigger conversation. You know, when I think of marketing, the last ten years the conversations about lead generation, like that has been the conversation, like. Generate me leads, generate me leads. Now, thank God we're actually all beyond that conversation. I feel like now we're actually looking at how many conversations we can, communications we can actually generate. But, you know, I think the next 10 years is going to be looking at how, you know, our first party data and our third party data and how we're actually able to use that. So I'd love to kind of get your guys' thoughts on what is a bit, what's currently, you know, capable and what you think is going to be coming, you know, in down the pipeline. Thanks for tuning in to the Matador Yachtcast with your host, Jason Harris. Don't want to miss new content? Be sure to check out the full podcast library at matador.ai to stay in the know. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy podcasting.